Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday to you. I hope your week has been going well. We have a lot to cover here on Midday with the latest on the COVID-19 outbreak. We have another case of COVID-19 in Southeast Texas. This morning, there are now 16 cases of coronavirus in the area. The latest case involves a woman in her 40s who resides in South Montgomery County. She is currently being treated at a hospital in Montgomery County. Officials say she traveled to New Orleans but has not traveled abroad. Just last night, the city of Houston announced our area's youngest patient, a girl or woman between the ages of 15 and 25 who traveled to New York recently. She is now quarantined in her home. Montgomery County's first case was a man in his 40s. He is the first case in Southeast Texas that may have contracted the virus by community spread, according to health officials. The uh, man infected was at the Houston Rodeo on February the 28th, but has not traveled anywhere outside of the area. They are still trying to work to see where that exposure came from. All right, take a look at this. Uh, this was the scene over at Costco. This is the location on Bunker Hill, I-10. Look at that long line of people. They're waiting to get inside that store. This was before the store opened, but there is a limit of sale on hand sanitizer and defectant wipes as well as toilet paper. All right, another major local event canceled. The University of Houston has decided to cancel its annual Frontier Fiesta. It was supposed to kick off on the 19th. Now, as a result of that case, Montgomery ISD is now shut down today and as well tomorrow. They were slated to start spring break next week, but the district says they're going to be starting this week today and tomorrow because they want to clean up some campuses there. So here's how the virus is affecting other schools. HISD now requiring all employees, students and families who have traveled or are planning to travel to register their plans with the district. And beginning March 23rd, HISD will temporarily limit all campus visitors, including parents and volunteers. Also, the University of Houston has canceled classes next week. Classes will resume remotely uh, March the 23rd. And two LaPorte ISD employees say they may have been exposed during a spring break trip to Washington, D.C. They came in contact with someone else who had come in contact with a patient. So this is a third party exposure. The LaPorte employees are now considered low risk. Now, if your child attends the University of Texas in Austin, the school announced overnight that it is extending spring break to by one week. Classes will resume on campus on Monday, March the 30th, instead of the week prior to that. All right, now let's talk about the drastic measures now in place to control this coronavirus. The president's U.S. travel ban to and from Europe, that begins tomorrow. It will last 30 days. It impacts 26 countries. And tens of thousands of travelers are scrambling to try and figure out what they need to do before it takes effect at 11 p.m. tonight. That is tonight. This morning at Bush Intercontinental Airport, there were mixed reactions. I think it's a good, de good decision, uh, trying to stop the virus from spreading. I think it's the same thing if you take precautions. So I think it's a little extreme if people use common sense, wash their hands, everything like that. I think it should be good. By the way, the travel restrictions do not apply to the United Kingdom. Some airlines have begun issuing waivers for passengers. All American citizens, by the way, will be allowed back into the country, even if you travel after that midnight deadline, which is tonight. That is just referring to all of the other countries outside of the UK there in Europe. OK, you're driving on tall roads this morning. Keep you keep in mind if you're driving there and as well in the future, they are no longer accepting cash because of concerns over coronavirus. Here is the rule now. Harris County Toll Road collectors won't accept cash, but you can still go through that cash line. You can pay later online or through the mail. And those with easy tags won't be affected. They're also waiving the $1.50 administration fee. The goal is to stop the spread of germs that could potentially be on money. So there are a lot of people, thousands, tens of thousands, using that toll road every day all of the toll roads in Houston, no more cash accepted. All right, we know many of you left heartbroken and disappointed after the rodeo was cut short 11 days. Here is a look now at some of the concerts canceled. Stars like Lizzo and Marshmallow getting ready to make their first appearance right here in Houston. Other performance veterans like Cody Johnson, Brad Paisley, Keith Urban, they were all set to perform, but not anymore. Many of you are asking about refunds. We're expecting details from the rodeo later today, but they did indicate yesterday when this announcement was made that everyone will get their refund and including StubHub and other target uh, third marketers, they all indicated as well that they will give their a refund. 
We also spoke with a local school working to help uh, to get these young exhibitors who can no longer show their animals. Throughout the night, we've received a, a variety of animals. Um, that's anything from cows to goats, um, a couple of additional heifers, and, and, and a variety of other animals. We received um, animals from students from Bastrop, from the Wichita Falls area, as well as the Wimberley FFA um, group of students. Rodeo officials say this year's scholarships funds will be full fully fulfilled, which is certainly a good thing because there are so many kids out there who save so much money and are trying to, to, to treat their animals well to sell them. They will be allowed to be able to participate in that uh, full scholarship. So that is absolutely good news. Thanks for joining us on this midday. Have a terrific day, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. See you then.